All right, beginning of my working day as a guitar player on the road, getting a bit into action. <laughs> Bollocks. It's a little noisy. I haven't taken the covers off or anything. That, yeah. that we could probably quieten it down. Excellent. But that's uh, that looks like a savage piece of kit. It's a proper wind machine. So the primary forms of practicing I address are firstly calisthenic, the operation of the left hand and the right hand and how they work together. Second, fingerboard knowledge, and I'd include in this uh, vocabulary. Third, repertoire the music which we're going to get on stage and play tonight. Fourthly, training the ear. And fifthly, so easy for a working player to forget, play, have fun, which leads on to extemporization and improvisation, but fundamentally, play. So it's rare that our five primary forms of practicing are balanced. For example, if we're working hard, going into shows every night, sight reading and so on, we're not likely to be able to develop our calisthenics. If we're working on a particular repertoire, similarly. And right now I'm working hard on learning a repertoire I haven't had the good fortune of being able to play before, and certainly learning this repertoire in a tuning I haven't used for 35 years. So, my calisthenic practicing is not at the standard or the level to which I'm accustomed. So, what to do about this? Well, I've been catching up a little and looking at the weaknesses in my left hand. Okay. Demonstrate this. Well, this is on a very low setting. Well, why not so turn it up? I can... Yeah. All right. You can remote control this from the side of the stage. Yes. Yeah. Infinitely remote control it with a fader from the side of the stage. Six combinations of two fingers. Say on the third and the fourth string in the seventh position. First finger and second finger. First and third. First finger and second finger, first and third. If we had a lower riser this side of it, yeah. that might be better than embedding it in a, in a riser, maybe, yeah. because you can get a bit more direction. Or we could build a riser either way. So here we are, Mr. Johnson, 1763. Uh, trunk that's been around for quite a long while. And I have just pressed this into service and moved some of my old files here. Now, old fans, old business. Oh, very interesting things in here. Some of these, the letters I've had from what normally claim to be fans over the years, have sent me astonishingly strange communications. Well, maybe it's not them that's strange, maybe it's me. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Although we'd never met personally, I wish you well wherever you are now. So in this in this combination, or there are four beginning points. Point one, point four, the retrograde, point two, point three, so one, two, three, four. Applying this to each of the two finger combinations.
So Bugaboo, this is a late Valentine's gift because it was on its way from New York to you because I love you. Cufflinks? Of course. in New York. Belated happy Valentine's. I love you wife, thank you. I love you darling. So across all the combinations, two finger combinations, over two strings in the seventh position. <laughs> What I found most useful is to move this from a simple four to a six. There are still four beginning points. One, two, three, bollocks, three, So Danny from Roadrunner Records has very generously sent us three Slipknot albums on vinyl. And one French band recorded at Brixton in 2013, a French band, Gajira. Thank you, Danny. That's very generous. Wow. And you'll discover as you practice these that there are particular strengths and weaknesses in different finger combinations and at different beginning points. <laughs> 